acne prone skin can be one of the most problematic skin to deal with especially when you want to buy products for yourself in the market and get into the market you are not confused like you don't even know the products to buy because you don't want to trigger your acne you are just trying to avoid it as much as you can so if you're in that kind of position whereby you don't even know the right ingredients to watch out for and your acne prone skin to um calm your acne and the inflammation you keep getting then today's video is for you so if it's the first time of coming to my channel my name is elizabeth then you are welcome do want to subscribe to my channel check through my other videos i have other videos that you're definitely going to find helpful okay if you're acne prone don't worry i got you because you know that's not the end of the world i know acne can be like annoying in one word like it can make you just lost your self-confidence like you feel like everybody is looking at you everybody keep prescribing like creams drugs tubes for you as if you're not even taking anything at all it's that bad i understand because yeah i've been in that shoes before too but today i'm going to tell you the ingredients to watch out for the next time you are buying yourself a skincare product so best ingredients to watch out for like over time research has shown that these ingredients are very good and they really work they are not just eyes like they really really work so i note some of them down here that i'll be sharing with you because there are definitely a lot of ingredients that help to tackle acne but i chose the um most let me just call it most potent like the one i realized that has a lot of reviews and a lot of like good feedbacks that's one i chose and i wrote them down to share with you guys so number one on my list here is benzoyl perazine so benzoyl, if you check some of your skincare products you definitely see the ingredient there even though it is like very powerful and helps to fight acne but you definitely have to be careful when using it especially for promixing and all those things um, from base, you want to use benzoyl perazite, then you have to be careful. That's why it's advisable to just don't DIY everything. Don't everything is not DIY. It, leave it to the professionals. They do it for you. Just buy from them. So watch out for benzoyl perazite. And now let me tell you the work. Like what does it do? It works by killing bacteria on your skin, help unclog pores by removing dead skin cells. So that is one of the things it does for acne prone skin. And number two on my list is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid has been on the rise recently. I know that because it helps to cure and tackle acne. You are buying your skincare products, then watch out for salicylic acid. And what does it do? It's BHA, beta hydroxyl acid, so which is an exfoliant and it helps to remove dead skin on your face and like that there won't be any trap sebum on your face which may cause acne or inflammation so salicylic acid is also very good the next one on my list is aha which is also known as alpha hydroxy acid i talk about um salicylic acid being part of um bha which is beta hydroxyl acid this one is aha i alpha hydroxy so don't mix it up so this one it removes the skin cells and reduce inflammation it also helps stimulate growth of new skin so like that it helps like stimulate growth of new skin on your face and help remove the old one so it's very good for acne prone skin and another one on my list is retinol you can find retinol in vitamin A, especially if you are fighting wrinkles and fine lines. Retinol is also very good. And there is um, this soap, Retin A or something. I'll put it picture up here so you can see. That soap is also very good. If you have fine lines and wrinkles, try that soap. It's also very good. And another one I've talked about on my channel very, very well is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is also very good for acne prone skin. Sulfur is good for acne prone skin. As lake acid is good for acne prone skin. So that because of the acid, you might be thinking as no, 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 no. As lake acid is not harmful. So don't think because of the acid at the back that it is um, no. 
I know this belief that you know there is this common acid that whenever we watch movie that they used to disfigure somebody's face and things like that. Not that type of acid. So as late as C is also very good. Vitamin C, green tea, niacinamide. These are products that you should watch out the next time you are getting a product for your acne prone skin. So now products to avoid when getting um any skincare products for your acne prone is coconut oil yeah coconut oil is very good it is a rich source of oleic and lidoleic acid but when applied on acne prone skin then it's my club of course because you know we produce excess sebum on our face already so you don't need something as heavy as that you don't even need anything comedogenic on your face so avoid coconut oil and the next one on my list is nanolin nanolin is like very good for dry skin it's waxy um substance is dried from sheep food so it is very good for um moisturizing it helps calm the skin but when it comes to acne prone skin then it is a no-no don't try it it can clog your pores and make you break out more so another one you should watch out for is paraffin petroleum jelly mineral oil and um rough physical scrub yes rough is good scrub you know there are some scrub that they are very very rough in texture almost like beads they are like exfoliating beads i don't know if you've ever um come across any product that has um exfoliating bead inside so you should avoid those kind of products if you are acne prone skin because it might irritate your acne and make it worse leaving you with scars and if you have acne prone skin don't over exfoliate just exfoliate once in a week once in a week is okay and you can go for other form of exfoliation so don't just go for a very rough substance to exfoliate your face no it is not advisable for acne prone skin okay now best oil for acne prone skin like oil you can use for acne prone skin because yes this is also uh like an area of concern so you can't just go to the market and pick any oil and use this on your face I know I just talk on my channel about products, 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 but I should tell you that don't use it on your face. And for acne prone skin, which is one of the most problematic skin to deal with again, you may be like, so what are we I'm going to use for our face? This one, they will say don't use it. That one, they will say don't use it. So what exactly should we use? This is this. Number one on my list is rose hip seed oil. Rose hip seed oil is very good. You can use it on your face because it is non comedogenic sunflower oil is very good yes i've talked about sunflower oil like 1001 times so you can use sunflower oil it is very good for your face and body also you can also use um sweet almond oil there is two type of almond oil though there is bitter almond oil and there is the sweet almond oil so go for the sweet almond oil the next time you are getting almond oil there is um walnut oil walnut oil is very good you can also use safflower oil not sunflower this time safflower so safflower oil is also very good which other one on my list yes evening primrose oil is also very good i know you will be like evening primrose oil is it the capsule no not the capsule go to organic shop ask for evening primrose oil they'll definitely give you that it might be quite expensive but i bet you it is worth every penny so these are oils you can use on your face and they are non comedogenic you won't break out so if you are there is this trend going on on facebook about vaseline and other mixtures you will hear miss vaseline and this one miss vaseline and that one there's even this talk on uh me this trend on TikTok about snuggling, snuggling with acne, whereby they rub lots of um um petroleum jelly. I'll put a um video here so that you can see it. a lot of petroleum jelly on their face, and they will start rubbing it in, like massaging it. In. They call it snuggling. Some people claim that whenever they try it, that it helps their skin to come alive the next day because it just stay overnight on their face. Well. Any any skin can try it or any skin type can try it, but I won't advise acne prone skin to try that trend going on because I feel like Vaseline is um occlusive and it will clog 
pores like according to research you do plus pores no advice them to use this on your face so and i do see lots of trend on facebook like vaseline and um, something on your face will help you clear something so people even testify that it works for them that person testifying that it works for her how sure are you that she is acne prone skin she might be dry skin or anything else but not acne prone skin and you your acne prone skin because someone said she used um vaseline and let me just say sugar but i think i've seen that mixture before vaseline and sugar on her face and it's ever clear all sort of blemishes she have on her face you too that you're acting for skin you are trying it don't see that it's even it's like you are welcoming breakouts like it's like you are breathing breakouts on your face you are giving them land for free on your face so don't even try to go near vaseline and any any product that is occlusive don't use them on your face they will clog your pores you need um, products that are water-based products that are not oily products that are made for acne and you need to moisturize your face too because your acne prone skin and oily skin doesn't mean that you shouldn't moisturize i know you may be like my face is already producing too much oil i don't need to buy moisturizer in the market no don't do that your face is producing oil doesn't mean you shouldn't moisturize your face please don't skip your moisturizers it's very important but the only thing you can do is that get a moisturizer for oily skin and acne prone skin right so get moisturizer for acne prone skin and oily skin so example of moisturizer that i can vouch for that you can use brand that you can just you know search through them you will definitely find product that will work for your skin number one is neutrogena neutrogena is um an international brand i think a u.s brand or uk brand u.s brand neutrogena there is this neutrogena product that i'm also trying to get but i haven't get, um just got to my hands on them um neutrogena hydro water boost gel i think that's name Neutrogena Hydro Water Boost Gel. I'll put a picture up here. It is like a transparent bustle and a blue content in it. It's very good for acne prone skin. It is a good moisturizer you can opt for. And another one, another brand I trust so much is Pond. P O N D. Pond. You can try the Pond moisturizer. You can also try um, the Simple um, Moisturizer. Simple. That's the name of their brand. Simple. Try simple, you can try Cetaphil, of course. Why well, would I mention Cetaphil and CeraVe? You can try both of them, and you can also try which other brand can I Nivea? Good, you can try Nivea. These are brands that I can vouch for that they work so well for acne prone skin. So, if you're not very, very big, like you are very big, you just want the best for yourself, something that will give you peace of mind. You can try the La Roche Jose moisturizer. It is quite expensive, but it is worth every penny. These are game changers that when you use it on your face, then you shouldn't be scared of breakout. Like, but when buying them, just make sure you buy the one for your skin type. Like, specify the one you want. If you want to buy the one for acne oily skin, just tell them acne oily skin. If you want the one for um dry skin, if you want the one for sensitive skin just go for the one for your skin type okay but this is a brand that i can tell you to buy that i can vouch for over time they've proven to be good and they've helped a lot of people with their skincare product so these are good brands that you can try so hope this video is helpful so if you find this video helpful then click on the subscribe button and again if you have acne prone skin then also use vitamin c serum vitamin c serum i am using right now is the primary vitamin c serum into your skincare routine if you have acne prone skin it is very good for today's video so don't think i'm just going to do acne prone skin and i'll stop there i have a video also for dry skin products to watch out for if you have ingredients to watch out for rather if you have dry skin so stay glued on my channel i'm going to be talking about dry skin for normal skin also so yeah if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel just help me increase my subscribers i don't know why you are enjoying my video you are watching them and you are not subscribing like just tell me my offense so that i can beg you and can just settle this issue because i don't know why you keep watching my video you type my name on youtube and you won't click on the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video and keep 
staying hydrated, keep taking care of your skin, mind your business. Like <laughs> someone told me that the way I used to say that mind your business, that you do break out laugh. Yes, mind your business. When you mind your business, you won't have unnecessary breakouts. So unnecessary breakouts, we cut off unnecessary expenses. You understand? So mind your business. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.